So in this video, I want to give you one simple tweak that you can make in your blog to start getting more leads, more appointments and more clients. And it's crazy how simple this little change is and yet how many people are not doing anything like this. So what I want you to do is take a look at your current blog on your website and ask yourself if you are doing this one simple thing. So are you sending people from your blog to a marketing and sales funnel? It's as simple as that. Are you sending people from your blog to a marketing and sales funnel? And here's what I've seen. I've seen so many people that spend all day creating content and they've written so many different articles and some of these articles are really, really good. And some of these articles that they've got on their website and on their blog are actually ranking quite high on Google for different search terms. But the problem is they're not actually getting any leads or any new business from all of this content that they have been creating. And to me, that's madness. Why would you spend all your time, energy and resources on something that doesn't actually bring in any business? So a simple way to fix that is send people to your marketing and sales funnel from your blog. Now, if you're not sure how to do that, let me give you an example of how you can do that and a few ideas with how I've done it on my own blog. So the first thing you can do is have a link going to your marketing and sales funnel somewhere on the side of your blog, okay? So this especially works well if you have some sort of two column website uh, or blog uh, on your website. Uh, so what you would have is your content on one side and then on the other side, you'd usually have a smaller column. And in that column, all you'd need to do is have a, a link or an image or something that takes people to your marketing and sales funnel. The second thing you can do is have links going to your marketing and sales funnel inside of your blog post itself. Now, if you do this, you have to do it the right way. You don't want to just have a weird sort of blog post where you're just spamming links to your to your funnel, right? It's, it's not going to work. You need to make it so that as people are reading your blog post, naturally they are going to want to learn more about how you can help them. And then to do that, they can then go to your marketing and sales funnel. So only add a link to your marketing and sales funnel inside of your blog post if it actually makes sense for the next step for them to be to go to your marketing and sales funnel. You don't just wanna send them a link to your funnel if it would look out of place as they're reading that content. And the final thing that you can do to start getting more leads, appointments and clients from your blog is to actually retarget people that visit your blog. A lot of the time people will consume the content or they'll skim through it and then they'll leave and move on to something else and they'll very quickly forget about what it is that you do. And that's why I mentioned it's very important for you to send people to the funnel so you can start capturing some of those people as leads so you can continue to market and follow up with them on an ongoing basis. But still the majority of people, even if you do all of those steps, are still going to leave and not take the next step, not go into your funnel. So a great way that you can get some quick wins is to retarget these people. You could retarget them on Facebook ads, on Instagram, or using um, different channels like AdRoll, uh, which will allow you to advertise and retarget to these people across thousands of different websites. But the point is to retarget these people so that they actually come back to you and your website. And actually this time they go to your marketing and sales funnel. And one of the reasons this retargeting strategy works so well, and it's incredibly simple, but it works so well is because uh, people have already heard about you, they've already seen you online, so you've already built up a little bit of trust with them. So it makes it easier for them to trust you when, you're at, when they actually see your advertisement online. And if they have a problem that you can actually solve for them, they're going to be more inclined to actually uh, opt in to your landing page and consume that content and go into your funnel and go to the next step in your in your sales process. So that's just a really quick and easy way that you can start getting some quick wins from the blog that you have created. So that's what I recommend. Just make that one simple change on your blog. So if you just have content for the sake of having content, just send those people to your marketing and sales funnel and watch how you very quickly start to get a lot more leads, a lot more appointments and a lot more clients just by making that one simple change on your website and on your blog 